thanks to AI, anybody can create a landing page now. Just say some words and you'll get out a highly converting landing page. Whether you want to do it for your personal site, like a link in bio, or you have a product or an app that you're trying to sell, these will convert very well. You can do it now with AI. You don't need to hire someone super expensive landing page expert, and you don't need to pay a bunch of money for a template. And so in this video, I'm going to be building a landing page for the app that we're releasing within the next four to five days. And so we're going to go through this whole process right now. And in this process, you're going to learn these four things how to make a landing page that is simple and converts into dollars, why you should make a landing page for your company or personal site, how to use Midjourney to make the assets and the logo to make it look super clean. And number four, you will learn how to use the best tools for easily deploying web apps so you can start building other more complex apps that involve ChatGPT or Claude. Let's just dive straight into it. We're gonna go to v0.dev. Now I want a landing page for my app that I'm building. Same style as the images I will attach. Make it look the same, but with info about my app. And I'm just gonna paste right here info about the app that I'm creating, which is called Yap Thread right here. Okay, so this is a pretty good uh, landing page right here. We're just going to screenshot this right here and we are going to go like this let's go like all right so we just downloaded four images right there we are going to run this and so v0 is thinking and now it says here is a react component now it's starting to generate the code and here it goes and so here it is so here is the landing page right here yap thread transforming ideas into content effortlessly your ai powered creative companion let's see how this compares to this so we obviously don't have an image right here it has this before image after image and so i'm just going to say please match the colors and vibe with this site. And I'm just gonna attach that image again, right? We're gonna iterate a little bit. I don't think it did an amazing job with the style, but that's a good start. And it has the right language from, my, from the app's documents. So I'm just gonna include this right here and let's see how it edits it. Oh, no way. It's generating uh, this image right here almost. Um, and it's kind of just making its own version of it right here. I have so many ideas for content, but I don't know where to start. No worries. Let's capture our thoughts and organize the no way. So like I want this thing right here. Put that next to the main hero text to the right of it and wow this is actually looking pretty good can you make the buttons have thicker borders and make the borders dark gray and be creative with the styling between each section of this site keep all else same and yeah so that should be good let's run that so this tool is called v0 and basically it allows you to use next.js and you can actually immediately share these with a v0.dev domain Ooh, this is looking good so far the hard part about using this is like you can't really set it up to your own domain directly on this site but i have created this free template and basically hooked this up to your own domain let's see if Let's see how this works here. And look at that. So we have this right here. I think these buttons look a lot better now. So this is starting to look really good, but there is just one thing that I wanna make sure we fix. So notice how if we were looking at like an iPad view right here, or even skinnier, this is not basically changing. So we wanna add um, a break point, I believe that's what it's called. When the phone goes to iPad view, 
or phone view, can you please move the image of the text example down so it's not crammed? You can literally just say that and that will literally be enough. Okay, it is done. Let's go ahead and test this. All right, there we go. So now when it goes to this phone view, like this is kind of what the user will see on their phone. And that looks pretty good. And obviously we don't have those images in there yet, but we will. And so what I wanna do right now is before we put this into the next tool for deployment, let's go ahead and create the image assets here. And so what I'm gonna do here is can you take that green color and, and the red color and all the other colors on this page and make a simple image showing the color palette of this page. Simple image showing the color palette of YapThread and here it is. And so here is the color palette. I've actually never done that before. That is actually really cool. What I wanna do is I'm gonna grab this right here. I'm just gonna grab this long image right here. And now we're gonna open up uh, Mid Journey. And I'm going to bring in that image right here. So we're gonna bring in that image and drag it in right there. And here we are going to say uh, simple app icon, cute character, cute speaking character, thick gray border and let's just generate a ton of these right here on mid journey i forgot to generate these in square we're looking for an icon here run a few more of these you know what i really like this one so i'm going to make sure that we heart this i feel like this might actually be good we can just call this yap thread and so now we're going to take this into canva and we're going to hit this background remover perfect it did it perfectly we can make this 540 by 540 and let's go ahead and make it a png with a transparent background and we can download this and so now that image is downloaded so once you have your generation on v0 and your things are looking good and you have your logo you can now come to this link right here which will be below the video which should take you directly to this template link. And this is a very simple replit link that I believe you should be able to use for free. So we're gonna use this template link and we're just gonna call this Yap Thread um, Landing. And we're going to fork this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to V0 and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this add to code base. So there's these, this little add to code base button. We're just gonna hit copy this. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to go to this landing page and then we're also gonna open up the shell. And the first thing that we're gonna do is go to shell. So we're gonna go to shell and we're actually just gonna paste in that thing we copied from V0. So we're gonna paste this in and we're just gonna press Y here. We're just basically, it says okay to proceed. We're gonna press Y. And then what we're gonna do here, it's gonna load a little bit. And it's basically just installing everything that, everything that we need here. And we're just gonna press Y, uh, Y, and here we go, new patch version available, updated to files, workspace. And what we should see here is we should actually see this new landing page. So it automatically added this new landing page. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this little landing page right here, you're gonna drag this up into the app folder, and you're just going to delete the page.tsx that exists already. So we're gonna delete this, delete this file, and we're gonna rename this to page.tsx. Now what we're gonna do is I just added a new uh, page.tsx. Please make sure it works properly as a landing page. Uh, generate the full 
code for any changes that are needed. And we're just going to run this directly in Replit. So this is the first AI chat that we are running. And so it is taking a look here. Here's the updated app page.tsx with um, the files. Let me make sure that this is what we want. Yap thread. So it should look exactly like this when we are done. And so we are in, coming back over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this and we're gonna go page.tsx. We're just gonna paste that in just like that. And let's go ahead and run this and let's see if this works. And there we go. Now we have that same web app right there. But remember that logo we just created? Watch this. We're gonna go up to this public folder and then we're gonna open up this image folder. So here is that image PNG file. And so I'm just gonna drag it into that image folder and I'm gonna rename this right here. Here it is. I'm gonna rename this to logo.png. This logo.png file can easily be changed. So this logo.png file now needs to be referenced. So I want it to show up in this header bar, right to the left of Yap thread. So I just need to tell AI that. So at the bottom of this thread, we can actually create a new AI thread and say, right next thread in the top bar, I want the logo to be there. And I'm gonna say the public slash images folder called logo.png. Uh, generate the full code for page TSX, which is the, this landing page component right here. Uh, generate full entire code. Okay, that's done generating. So once again, let's just copy this. And we're going to go to page.tsx. And we'll paste that in like that. And boom, there it is. The logo is super clean right there at the top. And here we have this landing page. And we can add in other images as well. And so I actually grabbed Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA, and uh, uh, Marlboro. And so in the images folder, I'm gonna add a new folder. And I'm gonna call this companies. And we are going to drag in these four images here into this companies folder. And I'm gonna go back to the AI for the uh, trusted by section, please use the, we can paste in the names for them. So here we are pasting in these images right here, Marlboro, Apple, Nvidia, and Microsoft. Uh, please use these four images, generate the full code. Generate full entire code for uh, page.tsx. Boom. Okay, now that that's done, we're just going to copy it and let's go ahead and paste this in and let's see if this looks different. Okay, these didn't make it in. And we can actually see here, it's referencing it through the images folder, but it needs to be images slash companies folder. So watch this. If we type in companies here slash Marlboro, this Marlboro one should show up. And it does. So then we're just going to copy this and we'll do the same thing for all of them. And it should all show up. So here is the site that we're going to try to deploy. So here we have Yap Thread. We created this so quickly in like 10 minutes. And trusted by innovative content creators, how Yap Thread works, pricing. And we have this Yap Thread down at the bottom. And look at that. So here we are able to come up to the top and we can just click deployments. And let's go ahead and hit this right here, approve and deploy. And then we'll go over how you set it up to your own domain. And there we go, it's successfully deployed. And now we can, we're gonna go to settings on deployment down here and we're gonna hit link a domain. And I'm gonna change this to Yap Buddy. I already have a uh, landing page for Yap Thread, but I also bought yapbuddy.com, which is actually in contention. I don't know if we're gonna name it Yap Thread or Yap Buddy, one of the two. And um, we can hit next, 
And what we need to do is we need to go to wherever you bought the domain. So I bought it from Namecheap and we can click on Yap Buddy. And so we're just gonna hit manage and we're also gonna hit advanced DNS. And we are going to delete these records, host records. So we're gonna delete this and we're going to delete this and we're gonna hit add new record and we're gonna do an A record and we're gonna make the host at and the value is going to be this value from replit. So we're gonna paste that in right there and we're gonna hit the check mark. Now we're gonna hit add new record. Um, we're gonna go down to text record at and then we're gonna copy this right here and we're gonna paste this in and now we have officially connected our site. Now we're gonna hit link domain. And this is gonna take a little bit. We changed it to, yeah, buddy. And there you go. We have created this clean website, added our own custom logo. We could have easily, and as soon as this done, so this takes a little bit of time to verify because right now if we clicked, yeah, buddy, it's gonna say your connection is not private. And here it is. Right now it still says yap thread because that's what I deployed it on. Then I made the changes. So in order for that to be update, I would actually need to, if you wanna update it again, you just need to go to deployments. And what you need to do is you actually need to, um, and you need to press this right here, it says redeploy. And once it redeploys, then it should be updated with your latest landing page um, code. Okay, so one thing I really, really wanna include in this actually is the ability to add in um, information submission. So if someone comes to your app, you want them to be able to put in their name. Maybe you want them to join your wait list. Maybe you just want their email to sign them up for uh, some sort of email list, that type of thing. Gathering information is one of the smartest things you can do as a business owner. And that's one of the primary objectives of a landing page is you wanna capture information. The easiest and cheapest, it's free, uh, way to get that information is to go to tally.so. And once you go to tally.so, you can basically just create this with a template very quickly. And once you've created your um, form, you're gonna go to the share tab. And within this share tab, um, I like to turn off this align content to the left. It brings it in just a little bit like this. You can do full page um, pop up, which is on the bottom right. Let's hit get the code. And so we're just gonna copy this code right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our web app right here. We're gonna go to AI and we're gonna open up a new chat and say, generate full code for page.tsx, include this um, embed of, the, of a tally form to sign up for the wait list. And we're gonna go ahead and just paste this in full code. And so we're gonna generate that. And here is our final site. If we click join the wait list, we get this pop up down here at the bottom and sign up for early access. I can type in Riley um, job title, a wizard, and we can submit it and let us know what you're excited to use this. Hi, submit. And there you go. We generated this very quickly on V0. I'm pretty sure you get like 10 generations on V0 per day for free. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, I love you. I'll see you here in the next video.